Seattle Biomed. Like many things started in the 1970s, it was far out. Nearly four decades ago, as the nation focused on celebrating its bicentennial, and long before anyone had coined the term global health, Dr. Ken Stewart was busy in his Issaquah laboratory, pioneering a new approach to the study of infectious diseases. What was this radical new concept? That fostering collaboration between scientists and utilizing powerful technologies to share information would succeed in creating more effective treatment and preventative vaccines for infectious diseases. Pretty groovy, man. And as time would reveal, an idea that would change the world. The GoGo 80s rewarded those with bold ambition, and Seattle Biomed was no exception. Throughout the decade, diligent research resulted in groundbreaking discoveries that advanced the fights against malaria, TB, and other deadly diseases. Discoveries that included the advent of RNA editing and dramatic advances in microbiology. These successes garnered widespread attention, establishing Seattle Biomed as a world leader in the burgeoning field of global health. But this early progress was offset by the rise of HIV AIDS, which opened another area of urgent focus in the study of infectious disease. In the 1990s, events transpired to turn the world's attention on Seattle. Local economic success stories shined a spotlight on the region, and a red-hot music scene transformed what was a relatively obscure city into an overnight sensation. As a leader in the growing global health movement, Seattle Biomed was changing as well, developing partnerships and creating ever greater opportunities for collaboration and exploration. However, a resurgence of malaria, the continued spread of tuberculosis and HIV AIDS, and newly emerging infectious agents were threatening more people than ever and devastating entire countries. Consequently, the need for basic research had never been more critical and Seattle Biomed was positioned at the center of exciting and revolutionary changes within the scientific community, just in time for the new millennium. For Seattle, the year 2000 marked a watershed moment that was more than a date on a calendar. A confluence of technology, scientific knowledge, and philanthropy was giving rise to a network of organizations that held greater promise for impacting global health than at any time in history. And Seattle Biomed scientists were at the forefront, utilizing advanced computing power to map and sequence the genetic makeup of neglected infectious diseases, offering new insights into drug development for African sleeping sickness and related illnesses. Needing more room for growth, an innovative, state-of-the-art facility was built in Seattle's South Lake Union area, breathing new life into the neighborhood. This unique, LEED-certified building nearly doubled the amount of dedicated laboratory space attracting brilliant new talent, allowing our tuberculosis and other research teams to grow and collaborate in ways never before possible. Seattle Biomed formulated a promising new approach to the creation of a desperately needed malaria vaccine. And that brings us to today. As we mark our 35th anniversary, we can look back with pride at all we've accomplished knowing that our discoveries lay the foundation to save millions of lives and improve the health and wellness of billions more. Now, with the bold incorporation of systems biology into Seattle Biomed's pioneering scientific approach, we have renewed our commitment to the revolutionary spirit at our core. Once again, we find ourselves leading a movement at the threshold of change. Poised on the cusp of important new discoveries that will transform every aspect of biomedical research, training, and global health advocacy. It cannot be otherwise, as the task ahead is no less daunting than it was when our journey began. Each day brings new challenges. Each challenge spurs a new breakthrough, and each breakthrough carries us one step closer to a world free from the burden of infectious disease.